I'm back. A long vacation, a new year. Ohio State knocks off what's supposed to be the SEC champion. And the Big Ten suddenly catches up to the SEC. The vaunted SEC West, they fall in dramatic fashion. I guess the SEC isn't the crown royalty that they're supposed to be. So good luck to the Buckeyes and good luck to the Oregon Ducks as uh, Mariota leads his team into the finals. And uh, they're going to go ahead and face off against one another a week from tonight. So looking forward to that. But the big game over the weekend was the game between the Cowboys and the Detroit Lions. And then the call or the non-call, the pass interference that wasn't. Technically, no, it wasn't pass interference. We understand that now. What was a little bit egregious was the fact that they called it. It could have gone either way. And then they picked the flag up, which shows the impropriety or at least leads to the appearance of impropriety for Jerry Jones buying himself a postseason win. We all know that's garbage, but there are people that want to believe that. Now it sets up the matchup between the Cowboys, Burlington's own Tony Romo coming to Lambeau Field to face off against Aaron Rodgers. For the most part, you think the Packers have an advantage here. They're playing at home. It's going to be cold. It's a southern team coming up north. Packers have played extremely well at home this year. Aaron Rodgers specifically has played well at home this year. But there are many of you immediately, immediately when this was announced that this is going to be the matchup, when we watched the Dallas Cowboys get a win, immediately started tweeting, oh, my goodness, the pressure's on Aaron Rodgers. Why? Because Skip Bayless said that Tony Romo is a better quarterback. Some way, some shape, I guess Aaron Rodgers is, this, is supposed to take Skip Bayless's word, throw it on his shoulder as some big chip, and he's supposed to win this one to prove Skip Bayless wrong. Look, I don't care if they win because suddenly dogs fall from the sky and begin pooping on the field. doesn't matter to me. Just get a win. Packers need to do a few things. Keep pressure on Tony Romo, but most of all, keep him in the pocket. Secondly, contain DeMarco Murray. They're not going to stop him, but contain him. Don't let him hurt you time and again. And their best defense is going to be their offense. Aaron Rodgers and that offense, who have not played extremely well down the stretch, they got to get it together. You hope the calf muscle holds out for Aaron Rodgers, and they got to get it together, and they got to move the football the way we've seen them move the football, say against the likes uh, of Philadelphia, of Carolina, uh, of the Chicago Bears. Not the same defense, but don't forget, Dallas doesn't come into Lambeau Field with a top-10 defense. They're relatively mediocre themselves. And if the Packers do that, they're going to get a win. On a personal note, before we say goodbye today, uh, Stuart Scott from ESPN passed away over the weekend. And I will say this about Stuart Scott. He's a guy, first of all, that you respect as a father. He was an incredibly loving father, and he fought as hard as he did against cancer because of his two daughters, not because of his fame, his fortune, because he wanted to be in front of the, the camera all the time, but because he had two little girls that he wanted to make sure grew up the right way and with a father. So you commend him for that. I didn't always agree with Stuart, Stuart Scott. I didn't always agree with his methodology. But two things he did, two things he did. One was make you listen. And as a broadcaster, that's what you want to do. You want to be able to entertain people enough to where they have to listen. They want to be a part of what it is you're doing. Whether you agree with it or not, he was fantastic at it. And he is not a guy that people are going to say he's one of a kind. You know why? Because people want to emulate him. Booyah has become so popular. So many people do it now. People want to emulate him. So you're going to see many ripoffs, if you will, or compliments of impersonation of Stuart Scott. But the fact that the guy had that kind of impact on the broadcasting world, you got to give him his props. He'll be missed. Awesome.